Hello everyone, it's Kelly here, and today we are going to be talking about human rights. And before we get started talking about our human rights topic for the month of August, we wanted to talk a little bit about rights and responsibilities. So when we think of a right, this can be thought of as a, a law that allows us to do what we want to do, go where we want to go, and be with who we want to be with, and most importantly, to be treated with dignity and respect. Now, when we think of our responsibilities, these can be thought of as expectations about how we should act towards each, towards each other and ourselves in a safe and mature manner. We provided everyone with our Human Rights Handbook again, which reviews rights and responsibilities that we have. And so we also provided you with a worksheet that reviews different examples and asks you to determine which is a right and which is a responsibility. Now today we are specifically going to look at our human rights topic for the month of August, which is you have the right to freedom of movement and you cannot be made to leave your home or program without your consent. So let's take a look at the rights and responsibilities that go with each of these. So the first one, you have the right to freedom of movement. So when we think about this right, we think about being able to move from place to place. And it's often viewed in the form of traveling. So I know that I love traveling, I love going to different places, and I appreciate the freedom that I have to travel. Now, you can travel free, freely in the country that you are a citizen of. So, you know, if I want to go to another country, I need to be able to get some permission from there, make sure I have my passport and everything. But say I want to go to Vermont for the weekend, or maybe I want to go on a family trip to Florida. You know, those are things that I can freely do as long as I have the means to get there. So when we think about responsibilities that go with this right of freedom of movement and travel, we want to make sure that we have adequate money with us so that we can make sure that we're able to pay for the things that we need, that we have living accommodations or arrangements, such as a hotel or a house that we can stay at, having a means of traveling, so getting to that place we want to go, whether it's with a car, a boat, airplane, anything like that. And then when we think about freedom of movement, whether it's in our homes or a program, we also, you know, might think of freedom of movement in those spaces and what that means to us. And so we might be asked to not go in a certain room because maybe it's somebody else's bedroom, or maybe we shouldn't be going into an office in our program if there's a meeting going on. Or how about a bathroom? You know, if somebody else is using the bathroom, we're not going to go in that bathroom either. So that's where our responsibility comes into play. We need to be respectful and safe in regards to our movement and you know, know that certain places we're not gonna be able to go, whether it's maybe because we don't have the money yet to go to Florida, or maybe we can't go in the office because there's a meeting going on and so we need to wait and ask to go in afterwards. So these are all ways that we can be responsible in regards to this right. Now, the second one is you cannot be made to leave your home or program without your consent. And so when talking about this, right, we first want to start by touching upon what consent is. So consent is giving permission for something to happen. And when we are thought, thinking about, you know, being asked to leave program, we, you know, might think about being asked to leave at the end of the day when our van gets there. Um, you know, or we think about the responsibility of being asked to leave program, say you're sick, you know, you need to leave then. Um, we also, you know, think about permission um, that would need to be given if there was a change in your home or your program. So if your team wants you to, you know, move somewhere else or to go to a different program, they have to get your consent for this to happen. Now, it's a responsibility on your part 
to, you know, accept the recommendation or to work with them on it if your safety is at risk because your um, health and safety is your responsibility, you know, so that's where the responsibility piece comes into play. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't have a say in it, but it means that it's your responsibility to work with them, even to come to a compromise if needed. Now, um, we hope that these reviews of rights and responsibilities are helpful. And we want all of you to know your rights and responsibilities with each. So if you have questions about this, feel free to let us know. You can certainly ask the human rights officer in your program also. And lastly, we just wanted to touch upon what to do if you have a human rights concern about yourself. So we gave you guys the human rights concern checklist again, which just provides helpful information of what to do if you have a human rights concern. So, you know, first, the best thing you can do is to speak with your provider, family member, or staff at home or at your program. So, you know, being able to speak to somebody who directly works with you. You can request to speak with your DDS service coordinator or case manager. You can ask to speak with the human rights representative at your program. You can write a grievance at your program if the issue is happening at the program site. You can request to speak with the human rights committee. And you can also request to speak with the human rights coordinator for DDS. Now we gave you guys information there as well um, about how to get assistance if this issue involves abuse or neglect. And so we gave you guys the information and phone numbers for DPPC in Massachusetts and DRCT in Connecticut. So these are really important numbers to have and they are in that worksheet today as well in case you ever need them. But we just want you guys to know that we are here to help, you know, as you learn about human rights, as you navigate which are rights, which are responsibilities and what goes together. And also, you know, if you have any human rights concerns. So we hope that this information is helpful and um, that we can all just do well at knowing our rights knowing our responsibilities and um, just being as safe and um, just respectful as we can in all environments and being able to stand up for ourselves when needed. So hope you all have a great day.